Hey everybody, it's Lisa from 2CreatorWebsite.com here today to honor some requests and answer some questions about the software and the process I use to create my videos. I did a video like this about a year ago, but some things have changed and I didn't do visuals, so hopefully the visual um, version of this video will, will be a little bit more helpful to everybody. I'm going to use the video that I did a couple of weeks ago called Lisa's Favorite WordPress Plugins because this video was the most complex in terms of creating it and producing it. So I just want to give you guys an idea um, and let you in to my video creation world, if you will. So first of all, to record my screen, as many of you guys already know, I use Camtasia. Now, Camtasia also offers a version now for the Mac and right now I'm using the Windows version. I just started using my Mac about a year ago and didn't realize that Camtasia now has a Mac version so eventually I probably will be switching over to the Mac version because I do my final edits with Final Cut Express so it would make more sense for me to use and and do all of my recording and editing and producing with one operating system. So right now I'm recording the screen in Windows and then I'm moving that file over to my Mac to do my final edits. So Camtasia is a wonderful piece of software. It's very easy to use. It's a bit pricey at $2.99, but you can get a free trial as you can see here. And I believe you have 30 days to use it. So you can record as many videos as you want in those 30 days and the software is very easy to use it produces in many formats from the MOV format WMV format um, whatever format that you need and I have Camtasia 6 for those of you who are curious I, as you can see here they're on Camtasia 7.1 alright so after I record my screen then I will grab any images that I need for my video production now, if you're looking for images, there's a site, and it's, uh, I think it's webdesignlessons.com, yeah. And they provide you with 16 links to websites that offer free stock images for commercial use. This is important because I think a lot of people look for royalty-free images, but they don't read the terms, and you have to make sure that you can use the images commercially. So they have a nice little listing of places where you can get commercial uh, or royalty-free images for commercial use. So once I've gathered all my images, I'll do any necessary edits in Photoshop. In this particular video, I use the chalkboard as my backdrop. And the key to doing that with your videos is to first know the size of your final output. I do all my videos in 1280 by 720 resolution. So this image is exactly 1280 by 720. It was actually much larger than that, and then I sized it down. Okay, so if you go back to the video, you will see I have this chalkboard like font here. That is actually the eraser font. I believe I just downloaded it for free. I just Googled chalkboard font and found it. So if I just click here and start typing, you will see that's how I was able to pull off the chalkboard effect here. And these words down here, let me just back up a little bit so you can see. Notice how the words type on the screen. I actually did that part in Final Cut Express, which is the software that I use for my final edits. So just to recap here, I record my screen with Camtasia, but Camtasia does not have any type of real production aspects of it. It's really just for screen recording. You can erase the noise, you can adjust the volume, but there are no introductions or montages or anything like that. I use Final Cut to do my intros, my outros, and any music that you hear, I do with GarageBand. And those of you who are Mac users, you know GarageBand comes with your Mac computer. So I just take any of the royalty free loops that are provided and I arrange my own track. That way I don't have to worry about copyrights or anything like that. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. I'm, I'm really learning to love GarageBand. I'm not, you know, a professional when it comes to music creation, but GarageBand makes it easy for someone like myself to just compile a bunch of loops and make a little jingle. So it's a lot of fun. 
Now, Final Cut Express is a bit pricey. It's 200 bucks for the Express version. The Pro version is a lot more. Now, if you don't want to spend that kind of money and you're a Mac user, of course, you can use iMovie. iMovie does just fine for a free piece of software. It's, it's actually very, very cool. I just upgraded to iMovie 11 and it's fantastic. Um, so it's ideal for a lot of Mac users. You really don't need Final Cut Express. The reason I bought Final Cut Express is that I plan to do a lot more with video in the coming months, um, maybe even some green screen work. So I wanted, you know, a high end piece of software. Plus Final Cut gives you much more control over the precision when you're editing. So that's why I upgraded to Final Cut Express. Now, if you don't use Mac and you're a Windows user, I know a lot of people love Adobe Premiere Elements. It's much more economical. It's $79 and uh, you can create some pretty swift, um, videos with this software. I've never used this software, but I know of a couple of people who have used it. I actually subscribe to a woman on YouTube who uses Adobe Elements and she does a really good job with her production and check it out here. Welcome to episode number nine of the week. So as you can see, you know, it's pretty swift if you learn how to use the software. I was using Pinnacle Studios when I was using my Windows computer before, but it, it kept freezing up on me. So um, I don't use that anymore. Now for the videos where you see me talking, I'm using my Sony HD Handycam camera. And then just like I mentioned before, I just take the camera, upload the clip to Final Cut Express once again. I'll make my jingles and GarageBand and uh, create my intro and Final Cut and then produce it. And my videos could take anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half to just do the final production part in the software. That does not include any editing that I do, any creations of songs or jingles and any takes or, you know, however many takes it'll take me to do the video. So creation of my videos is quite the task. Um, I enjoy it. I'm not by any means a pro at this. I just sort of learned over time. So if you have any questions, feel free. If you have any suggestions, I welcome those too, because again, I'm not a professional. But if you guys would like me to do a more detailed video about how to use Final Cut or something like that, then let me know. But I just didn't get the feeling that many people, um, first of all, I, I think more people still use Windows. Um, and then second of all, I don't know how popular Final Cut Express is among my subscribers. So I didn't want to make a video that only, you know, 2% of the people would want to watch. So if you guys have um, suggestions and you want me to go into further detail about how I do my videos, then let me know. But this was just an overview, just so you can get an idea for the software that I use. So I hope that helped. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.